Hey guys, time to do another unboxing. I forget what's in this one. Been sitting in my uh, fridge for a year. Trying to get my refrigerator cleaned out. I just got, uh, I already cleaned the milk bomb that went off. A, uh, last year and stuck up pile in front doors you know because the kitten stuff got stashed in the refrigerator and I got busy and then I got sick and so now I'm finally getting to it now all I gotta do is just Wipe out the dust and stuff that's in there and put it back together. Now I have a refrigerator again inside. I've been just using the outside freezer. You know, make make a bunch of stuff. You freeze it and set you know little bags for like, different meals and then just pop out pop in the oven or microwave, depending on how I'm feeling that day. But, that's about it, yeah. I'm feeling pretty bad today. Rainy weather, so it's putting a hurt now. Didn't get much done today. I did uh, two pump outs for my landlord. The last two of the year, because it's getting too cold. You can freeze up as it. What you do is, there's a uh, dark water tank cap you had to take off where you normally put your septic line on and you just has uh, little tabs you just put it on it's got little notches and you turn it to a box and then you have what's called a um, what is it? a trash pump what it does is it has a propeller in it that's meant to uh, break down and crush up, you know, all, all the big stuff. So, and then you got a valve pull. First, pull them to, um, to black water tab. And that drains to set, you know, this actual septic tank into a big, you know, a big three inch line. And then that goes into your trash pump that you know crushes up into like a really fine you know really fine stuff and then that goes into like regular garden hose size line that goes into the big tank and then when it's empty you close the valve and if not all campers have it, but some have an extra tank for like your showers, you know, your sink this way, it doesn't fill up, you know, the, the septic. And then you pull that and it's just pretty much just, you know, trash water. You know, your normal soul, you know, your dirty word, and maybe a little food, you know, nothing, nothing big, so. Then, you close that valve, you unplug the pump, you twist it back off, put the cap back on it, then you go over to um, 
you fill the hose up with more, then you plug it back in, let it suck out until the hose is clean, and you disconnect the small hose, and then you wrap everything up and you're done. Had to do that twice. Takes about 20 minutes for trail. It's not too bad. Unless there's a bad valve, it's not really messy. And it's not like doing a, um, you know, when the septic company's come and pump out your tank, how it stinks up the whole neighborhood. Yeah, you know, as long as that valve doesn't have a little leak to begin with, you don't smell nothing. So it's not a bad job. I mean, it's not a fun job, but not like doing a house where it's horrible. I mean, I've, I've gotten severely sick just walking, you know, I'm driving through a neighborhood that's just doing a set of out, so. Uh, then I had lunch. One off having the rest of the... I just didn't bother to eat it. I just needed something in me. I had a little bit of, um... Seasoned fried potatoes last night. I just ate it full because... I need something now and that was quick. Started making fried chicken for dinner. Ran out of gas on my stove, so I gotta get enough. I got, I got one tank filled. I was gonna switch tanks so the um, the one on my heater, which is isn't really that low, was gonna be the one I was gonna use. But, towards in the kitten hoard is both pairs of vice grips, so that was kind of out, so since it was box chicken, I decided to, um, just nuke it, already cooked, just really needs to be thawed out and heated up. Oh yeah, that's what was in here. Oh, uh, it's just a white tarp. You know, only the worst, made in China. I wanted to cover my freezer out back, so. One the seals a little bad on it, so and it's on a little bit of an angle because I never got a chance to get it up on a pallet or anything. I just kind of have a board on the one side of it, and all the water runs off down where the seal broke because it dry rotted on me. And something I gotta try fixing. And, um, the door froze a couple times on me. I got to find out where my baby oil is. One of the reasons why I bought it, besides the need for my skin. Because everything dries out because it's so dry in here. And plus, I don't drink enough, so. Yeah, my hair's all dried out. Hands, as you can tell, face. So basically, I give myself a baby oil bath, so I had to tell to help with it. But I'm almost out of time, guys. So you guys have a good night. Stay safe, and thank you for watching the video and you know subbing. And. Uh, until the next one, I still got like another two boxes left.